was already hot as I came in this morning, Helen. I know, and for some, I'm sure it's a little too stifling, George, but it has been the hottest day of the year so far. Let me show you the table there. A boy in Highland, Scotland, Harden in North East Wales at 28, that's 82 Fahrenheit. And do you know, I think that'll be beaten tomorrow by some parts. And of course, we've had plenty of weather watcher pictures in like this. This is Cornwall, it's beautiful, doesn't it? And barely a cloud in the sky. What we will find as we go through the evening and overnight is we pick up a little bit of fog near the North Sea coast, but it'll be fairly remote for most. It's a clear night. The most notable feature is how warm it will be, not just warm by day, but uh, quite muggy by night, particularly so in the north tonight. That's where we'll notice the change bit more breeze in the south. Now the breeze is coming in from the southeast, which means that tomorrow, like today, some of the highest temperatures will be North Wales, Northwest England, Northern Scotland, Northern Ireland and London as well. But only really around Windward Coast will it be any cooler. Again, mid-20s, we could get up to 29, even possibly 30. But even if it is a little cooler, more refreshing around the coasts, the levels of UV are just as high. It's not temperature dependent. And unusually, we're seeing some very high levels of UV in the country. It's not that that long from the longest day but that is high for here in the UK. Now as we go through tomorrow evening and overnight we've got this area of low pressure moving in so it's the breakdown. Now as is ever the case with these breakdowns, these sundry breakdowns, it's difficult to pinpoint the detail but it looks as if Northern Ireland, Western Scotland and then England and Wales will bear the brunt of some of the heaviest showers, thunderstorms during Saturday although that, not that many in the south, it's still quite sultry here. And then if you like it's an improving picture in the north on Sunday, it's fresher, brighter, still some showers around but with that humidity remaining in southern and eastern areas is always going to be the risk of further downpours but as ever we'll update you George. Helen thank you very much. A reminder of our